In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 14, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. St. Louis Cardinals vs. Milwaukee Brewers The St. Louis Cardinals meet the Milwaukee Brewers in a National League Central Division matchup and MLB action from American Family Field on Thursday. The St. Louis Cardinals are 9-1 in their last 10 games as an underdog and are 8-1 in their last 9 during Game 1 of a series. The Cardinals are also 8-1 in their last 9 road games versus a right-handed starter and are 4-0 in their last four Thursday games. The Brewers are 1-4 in their last five during game one of a series, and are 2-9 in their last 11 versus National League Central. After spending their first two series on the road, Milwaukee returns to American Family Field for their home opener on Thursday afternoon against St. Louis. Brewers co-ace Brandon Woodruff attempts to get to 1-1 one -one on the early season after a rough season debut last weekend in Chicago. Woodruff will be opposed by Cardinals ace Adam Wainwright, whose opening day start was a carbon copy of his impressive 2021 campaign. Woodruff is a well-respected starter in the betting markets, but the Brewers' current price point is a tad overpriced. As road underdogs, the Cardinals got the day off on Wednesday with their home game against Kansas City being postponed. Meanwhile, Milwaukee had to expend a lot to defeat Baltimore 4-2. Brewers' setup man Devin Williams struggled in the bottom of the eighth, allowing two runs for the Orioles to tie the game. Colton Wong's RBI triple in the top of the ninth gave Milwaukee their first first series win of the early season. The Brewers will most likely not have the services of their top two high leverage relief arms with both Williams and Hayter working the last two games. I get the case to be made other way here, but I didn't like what I saw from the Brewers in their opener and while Milwaukee should be able to right the ship eventually, I'm not betting on eventually though, I'm betting on the here and now and the reality here is that Adam Wainwright is pitching well early on and has picked up where he left off last season. So the St. Louis Cardinals money line is our full game side pick. In 2021, St. Louis ranked 15th in OPS and 20th in runs scored. Last season, Milwaukee ranked 20th in OPS and 12th in runs scored. Despite Woodruff allowing 7 earned runs in his 2022 season debut, He's still one of the more trustworthy starters and is capable of limiting St. Louis offensive output for five-plus innings. The Brewers' offense hasn't been as consistent as they'd like to be through their first six games. Milwaukee enters Thursday with a team batting average of just .212 as Wainwright is capable of keeping the Brewer bats at bay. With Woodruff and Wainwright towing the rubber, this game could very well result in a lower scoring contest. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Washington Nationals and the Pittsburgh Pirates open a four-game National League series Thursday evening in downtown Pittsburgh. The Nationals will have start rookie Joan add-on in the opener. The Pirates will reply with JT Brubaker. The Nationals won last year's season series 4-2. The Nationals have played a little bit better than the Pirates in this young season. After avoiding a sweep by a good Mets team, the Nationals took two out of three against the defending World Series champion Braves. Washington has won three of their last four games against what are projected to be division contending teams this season. The one loss over those four games was a tough and fluky 16-4 loss to Atlanta. In the three wins over that time, Washington outscored opponents 18-5. The Nationals have shown enough flashes to feel comfortable taking them over a bad team like the Pirates. Add-on is going to need a good outing here, though. He's coming off a spotty matchup versus the Mets, but I'd imagine he'll improve in this one. Washington had a nice pitching outing Wednesday, with just three hits and one earned. As for the Pirates, Brubaker had a pretty rough first start of the season but should match up better here. Pittsburgh had some early success over the first four frames versus Chicago on Wednesday but I don't think they'll carry it over to this series. Anytime a Pirates opponent is an outright underdog will be good value unless Pittsburgh comes out of nowhere this season. The Nationals have the better lineup and slightly better starting
starting pitcher in this matchup, so the Washington Nationals' money line is our full game side pick. Neither team has shown much indication thus far on whether their game totals will hit more overs or undares this season. Off the cusp, it looks like this will be a matchup between a couple weaker pitchers versus a couple weaker lineups. Pittsburgh should be the weakest opponent of the three they have seen so far to start the season. If they can keep the Mets and Braves to five combined runs over three of their last four games, they can certainly keep the Pirates in check. If Brubaker can be more comfortable at home and improve from last week's start, he also can keep the Nationals largely in check if he can just get through a few key players in Washington's lineup. The Nationals are averaging 3.83 runs per game through their first six games. They average 5.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Pirates. With Pittsburgh giving up 5.25 runs per game, the Nationals will hit their average in this game. The Pirates are averaging three runs per game through their first four games. They average 5.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Nationals. Even though Washington is giving up 6.17 runs per game, the Pirates won't score enough runs to push the score. The Nationals and Pirates played under the total in three of their last four meetings. In a somewhat unremarkable matchup on paper, a low total looks imminent. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. Miami Marlins Philadelphia will try to snap a two-game losing streak when it travels to Miami on Thursday night. The Phillies won three of their first four games this season before losing back-to-back -back contests against the Mets. Miami has dropped four of its first five games, including both games against the Angels earlier this week. The addition of Jorge Soler has not helped jumpstart the Miami offense in 2022. The Marlins rank near the bottom in almost every offensive category such as averaging the fourth-fewest runs per game and the second-worst OPS so far this season. Only Jazz Kishom and Joey Wendell seem to be seeing the ball well for Miami, and on Thursday they will face Kyle Gibson, who was lights out in his season debut. Gibson went seven innings, allowing only two hits with ten strikeouts against the Athletics in his first start. Oakland got to witness Gibson's six-pitch arsenal, which is highlighted by his changeup, which had a 60% whip rate in his first start, which is promising to see because his go-to-put-away pitch has usually been his slider. If Gibson has his sinker working with a feel for his changeup and slider, it will be a long day for the Marlins. For the first time that I've seen, Sandy Alcantara looked hittable in his last start. The Giants tagged him for three hits and two earned runs in five innings, but he allowed five walks, which is uncharacteristic for Alcantara. The Marlins' ace had just a 6% walk rate in 2021, which is why five walks and five innings is so mind-boggling. It could be because of the nerves from his first start or being away from home since Alcantara had a very different home and away split in 2021. Fortunately for the ace, he will be back on his home mound where he had an ER of 2.41 with a .198 opponent batting average in 2021. However, the Phillies' offense has shown their power this season. They rank 8th in OPS, and that's with Bryce Harper starting the season 3 for 21. Once the reigning MVP wakes up, this will be a very dangerous offense. So the Philadelphia Phillies' money line is our full game side pick. Marlins Park has been the seventh worst run scoring environment in baseball over the past three seasons. Alcantara has already asserted himself as a top tier arm, and with his 98th percentile fastball velocity, 95th percentile chase rate, and 83rd percentile walk rate, he has all the tools to shut down any offense. While Philadelphia possesses some potent bats, they have sputtered to start the season, and this isn't the matchup they need to start heating up. Kyle Gibson is a consistent arm who limits bass runners and damage, and while he may not have the stuff to outpitch Alcantara, he has plenty to keep the Miami offense in check. The Marlins have scored more than two runs just once in their last four games and against Gibson and a slightly above-average Philadelphia bullpen. I don't anticipate the Marlins' bats heating up. The top half of the Phillies' order is dangerous, but only Harper has shown success against Alcantara in their career. For example, the trio of Reese Hoskins, Nick Casolanos, and Diddy Gregorius are a combined 10 for 43 with 14 strikeouts against Alcantara. This one checks all the boxes for a pitcher's duel. I see a low-scoring contest from the first pitch to the last. Under the projected total is our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.